we are living in a culture that is promoting faith dependence on God. What do you mean by that, you may ask? That's what we are going to be discussing. I want to welcome you to Sitam Church Online. This is Karita Mbagara, the Deputy Bishop of Christ is the Answer Ministries. I want to illustrate what I am saying from the book of Ezekiel, chapter 33. Let's read from verse uh, 23. It says, Then the word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, the people living in those ruins in the land of Israel are saying, Abraham was only one man, yet he possessed the land. But we are many, surely, The land has been given to us as our possession. This is God speaking to Ezekiel. And Ezekiel is already a captive in Babylon. Not alone, but with many other Israelites who have gone to that land. And God tells uh, Ezekiel that the message that is going back to the people that are in the land is that things are going to be okay. And he says that the people are saying, We are the sons of Abraham, and we are many, but Abraham, who was alone, was able to get the land. If we are many, logically, then we should be able to see victory. But if you read on, God says that these people were transgressing his laws, and consequently, they would not take the land. They were going to uh, uh, to, uh, to suffer even further uh, judgment. And, and notice that these are people that have had their land ravaged by the captivity that had happened uh, when the Babylonians came and defeated them. They are a defeated lot, but they are putting their trust or their confidence in the fact of lineage to Abraham, not because they have a friendship with God. They don't have a relationship with God. And that is what God is not happy about. So their their dependency is not based on truth or honesty. It is based just because we have uh, a common heritage with Abraham. But Abraham had a relationship with God. And consequently, when we read further, for example, in verse 27, which I will read, God says this, uh, he says to them, this is what the sovereign Lord says, as surely as I live, those who are left in the ruins, and God calls their land ruins, will fall by the sword. Those out in the country, I will give to wild animals to be devoured, and those in strongholds and caves will die of a plague. I will make the land a desolate waste and her proud strength will come to an end and the mountains of Israel will will become desolate. You see, we are also living in a similar time. The word of God is abundant, it's available to us. We have heard it repeatedly, but we are putting our trust sometimes in the rituals that we practice. Maybe I go to church. Maybe I even do something, I am a nasha or I sing in the choir. I may even claim that I give tithes and offerings and uh, it could even go further and say, I do prayer. But you see, prayer can also be a mere ritual. Maybe you even fast, but God says, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for people who obey my word. And we who are receiving the word of God, whether it is through TV or a clip like this, we are expected to be having a relationship with God if we expect to see his goodness in the land of the living. I am here to urge you, can you make your relationship with God sure? Do you walk with him? Do you love him? Is your heart given to him? If it is not, then the judgment of God may still abide in your life. But I know that you will know better and do better, and you will not put your dependency to be based on the things that you have done, but rather 
on the fact that you have a relationship with God like Abraham had. May God bless you as you contemplate what I have said. If this is a blessing to you, why don't you share it with friends, especially those that need to hear this message so that they can amend their ways. And if you have never subscribed, please just touch that button and subscribe and we will be sure to inform you when we put out other videos. May the Lord bless you and have a great time. Amen.